things which are present in this world can be classified into living and non-living things. Things that can breathe, eat, grow, move from one place to another, have feelings, produce their young ones and die are called living things. For example, deer, butterfly, bee and human being. Things that cannot breathe, eat, grow, move from one place to another, have feelings, produce their young ones and die are called non-living things. For example, bench, kite, balloon and seesaw. Living things move. Living things move on their own. Plants are living things. They do not move like animals and human beings, but their leaves and flowers move. Flowers generally grow in the direction of the sun. The petals of morning glory flower open each morning and close as the sun sets in the evenings. Similarly, the leaves of touch me not close as soon as it is touched. Just like human beings, most animals walk on their legs. Birds and bats use their wings to fly. Fish use their fins to swim. But do you know why do animals move? Animals move in search of food, water, shelter and to protect themselves from enemies and other dangers. Sometimes they have to travel long distances. They have developed special skills like to run, jump, crawl, fly to suit their needs. Some of them walk upside down, climb trees and even walk backwards. Non-living things do not move by themselves. They need to be moved by a living thing. Living things grow. All living things grow in shape and size. The weight and height of living things increase as they grow. Let's do an activity to see the growth in plants. Put a few bean seeds on a bed of cotton wool. Make sure that the cotton is damp at all times, but do not overwater. Keep it on a windowsill without covering it. After a week, you will observe that the bean seeds have sprouted and the bean plant grows. A balloon also grows in size when we blow air into it. Is that growth? Blow into a balloon, then let the air out of it. What happens to the size of the balloon? The size of the balloon increases when we blow air into it, but its size decreases again when we let the air out. Hence, this is not growth. Non-living things do not grow. Living things need food and water. 
all living things need food and water to live. Food gives us energy to do our work. We eat vegetables, fruits, egg, etc. We drink milk, water, juices, etc. Cows, buffaloes, goats, deer eat grass. Lions, tigers, leopards eat other animals. Most of the birds eat small insects and grains. Plants are the only living things that make their own food. They prepare their food with the help of soil, water and sunlight. All the other living things depend upon plants for their food. Non-living things do not need food and water. Living things need air to breathe. Have you watched a sleeping child? Watch how its chest moves up and down. This is because the child is breathing. Animals and insects also need air to breathe. Let's do an activity. Take two bottles with tight fitting lids. Make a few small holes in the lid of one bottle. Label it bottle A. Label the other bottle B. Put a cockroach in each bottle and close the lids tightly. Check them out after four to five days. You will observe that the cockroach in bottle A is alive, whereas the cockroach in bottle B is dead. The cockroach in bottle A is alive because air could enter the bottle from the holes in the lid. So the cockroach could breathe. The cockroach in bottle B did not get any air to breathe, so it dies. Plants also breathe in air. They breathe in through tiny holes present in the leaves. Let's do another activity. Take two small green plants. Cover both the upper and lower surfaces of all the leaves of plant A with oil. Leave plant B as it is. Keep both the plants in sunlight and water them regularly. After a few days, you will observe that plant A dies and plant B lives. Plant A dies because though it received sunlight and water, it did not receive air. Plant A did not get any air because the oil covered the tiny holes on its leaves through which it breathes. Non-living things do not breathe. Living things have feelings. Living things react to things that happen to them. They also respond to their surroundings. If your team loses a football game, you feel hurt at the time. You feel happy when you get good marks in a test. Animals and birds also react to things around them. 
A scientist, Dr. J.C. Bose, had discovered that plants have feelings. They also react to music. Let's do an activity. Touch the leaves of a touch-me-not plant. When you touch the leaves of a touch-me-not plant, its leaves fold inwards and droop. This shows that the touch-me-not plant reacts when touched. Non-living things do not have feelings. Living things produce their young ones. A dog produces puppies and a cat produces kittens. Birds lay eggs and the young ones are hatched from them. Plants produce fruits which have seeds. These seeds give rise to new plants. Human beings also produce their offsprings. Non-living things do not produce their young ones. Living things die. Some creatures like mosquitoes and flies live for a few days. Some like cats and dogs and horses live for a few years. Animals like elephants and tortoises live for 60 to 100 years or more. The average lifespan of a man is 70 to 80 years. Trees also live for many years. Some redwood trees in California, USA are 600 years old. Non-living things do not die. So, now we know living things need food and water. Living things need air to breathe. Living things grow. Living things can move. Living things have feelings. Living things produce their young ones. Living things die.